okay now we will talk about the firewall ports right so so as we already discussed so basically you can remember this port only mostly we use this port one two three four six but for the recommendation we ask to open all these ports for core one core two core three suppose this edge is going to create a tunnel with v bond with this port so at the same time at the same millisecond other edge is also getting try to connect this so this port is busy right so now we can use another port hope method uh, in the configuration i will show you through the port hope method you can uh, ask edge to try the different port so you can also try the different port so these port normally cisco recommend to open in your firewall for example as i already shared with you that suppose you have your hub location so obviously in hub location you will not connect a internet directly here in hub location you you will have router you will have firewalls right core switches different different things and they will be connect each other right so in this topology suppose this is a edge vh okay so here now you will assign one private ip right you will assign your private ip here you will not assign you will not connect any public internet here so you will assign a private ip here so these are recommendation that you need to open those port in your firewall here it is so that when this edge is going to communicate to the v bond and reverse traffic will come so it should those ports should be open so those are done shared by the cisco one two three four six one two four four six these are right here you can see vh can port hope to establish a connection it's recommended to permit all five utb ports inbound to vh if you want to realize i got a phone call so these are the ports we need to open and for tls there are some different ports if you are using tls two three four six only one is replaced by two Previously, we asked to open one, two, three, four, six, and if we are using TLS, right, then we can use two, three, four, six. That's it. Okay, controller on prem. Okay, these are some basic configuration. We will discuss it tomorrow. Then tomorrow we are not going to complete this configuration on Monday or Tuesday. We will build up our controllers. and maybe monday so some theory parts i will cover along with the lab because it will be easy for you to connect and see the same time those things and then we will discuss those things so it will be easy to connect and understand what i am talking about so these are some basic configuration example shared here that what configuration you need to do and install certificate these are procedure yeah these are the controller procedure that how you can build a controller and these are some models right so the capacity of the models so you can see that 100 m can have 250 tunnels maximum it can handle 25000 routes and 62 plus 2 vpns right branch We have one thousand fifteen hundred tunnels, one two k routes, and VPN limit is same sixty two plus two, and this is two thousand model. We have two thousand. Here we can see six thousand tunnels. So basically, it's depend on your requirement. What device you want to deploy at your site? So it's a capacity management. That's how you can design your network that. it's my small site here i can deploy this box is a big site i can deploy this box and according to your design you can control right so that's how you can control and deploy your devices vh cloud virtualization the branches vas and afs ncs okay this is a different thing 
actually i told you about the nfv network function virtualization vnfs so here is an example of if you are virtualizing your branch with the help of vh cloud so you don't want to deploy any physical router you need to deploy a single box so this is the series you can see on the downside encs 5104 encs 5406 so they have the capacity 04 is 4 core 6 is 6 core core means this is the processor virtualization core if you have deployed on the vmware on esxi so you should have the idea of the core what i'm talking about course so these are the models it's called launch and on this physical device you can deploy the vh cloud vvas and the asc firewall right so uh, about the encs you need to deploy one supervisor hypervisor and a vis above that you you can deploy these vnfs and you can do the service chaining so this thing will not cover here because that's a different thing ucp box those are the part of virtualization so you can do this kind of virtualization on the site right so just just here the example that you can use this as a vnf because in market very less vnf is available vnf like and subscribe my channel and share with those guys who want to learn sd1 thank you so much